In this tutorial, I will show you how to use combo box. Let's create a new project. Okay, the project comes with the uh, controller, main and sample FXML. We will add a JavaFX library. Browse um, program files, Java. JavaFX SDK library. Okay. I'll just leave it as it is. Okay. Now it's okay. Um, Project can locate JavaFX uh, SDK library. Let's open sample FXML with the uh, same builder. So try to remember the controller class, um, package name, and controller. Let me remove. Then use anchor pane. Let's have one button and combo box. I will add um, text area. And let me name it as uh, CB. Combo box, CV drink, and then here uh, BTN, OK. So, combo box will have a list of items, let's say about 10 of them. Then, uh, here, handle BTN, OK, TA summary. So, when I click uh, OK button, it's going to print uh, the data to text area. Here I will say um, sample dot controller. Save it. So we have a controller um, sample dot controller Java. So here we have a BTN OK. And then CB drink and then TA summary. One more to go. Um, BTN OK. So let me change to private. Annotation, we need to add FXML. You can add it here or you can just type it manually. Up to you. FXML three times. Here, we need to um, change the initial value. So let's say implement initializable interface. Implement initializer interface uh, comes with uh, that abstract method. Implementation is pretty similar to uh, choice box. So here. If I select the specific items from uh, combo box, name of item or index value can be added to a text area, which is going to be TA summary. Okay, CB drink. 
get item. Uh, for example, we can add individual items using add methods. So let me say uh, 456. Build project, add configurations. Here, modify options, add Wii options. You can add uh, models. Make sure you are using um, IntelliJ 2020.3. Okay, um, model pass, copy, paste it, and add models. JavaFX controls, comma, JavaFX FXML. Apply, OK. So we have four, five, six. Uh, let me show you another way of adding items. Uh, we can use add all so that you can add multiple items to a uh, combo box. So this time I will do um, 789. See me drink, get items. So here we say add all. Let me add uh, multiple items. So now you should be able to see uh, 4, 5, 6 and all the way to 9. In practice, maybe um, we introduce an uh, uh, observable list that deal with, with a preset of our items belongs to combo box. So in this case, we are dealing with uh, string values like item number 1, 2, 3. And uh, it doesn't change the value, so we say string array final. String items. Let's say item number one, two, and three. So we have a uh, drink items as a string array. Now we are going to construct um, observable list from the uh, string array. Let me explain a little bit here. Um, observable array behavior like um, array list. Uh, basically, it can monitor whether you are selecting certain items or removing or deselect. So you can observe the behavior of that particular object. In this case, we are referring to uh, C V drink object. So observable list string. Let's say uh, drink list. We use uh, JavaFX collections. And then we are going to use um, observable array list. Okay. So you can consider it's a special array list dealing with uh, FX, um, JavaFX collections. Here, we need to add those uh, 
items. So let me say set a value of the property items to um, to display in the uh, combo um, combo box. So here, CB drink set items. Drink list, okay. That's it. Syntax seems more complicated, but uh, this is uh, how we actually use it in practice. So we have a one to nine. So let's look at uh, how we can manipulate the data based on uh, combo box. So T summary of hand text, CB drink. Here, um, get selection model. Then we have a one method called get selected index or item. So let's start with item and add new line. So here number one added. So we are adding a string objects to TA summary object. We can actually um, get the integer values based on a combo, combo box. For example, if you select uh, index the item number one, that will return index value zero. If you select the second item, it's going to return index value number one. So index start from zero, and then one, two, and so on. So get selection model dot get selected index. Again, it's returned in this integer value. Let me use a leper class to, to convert to string value. So number one and the index is zero. Six index is five. Okay, that's the index start from zero to five, so that's why it's five. five. So let me have a look at one more thing. We maybe like to reset. So here I will say reset. I will name it as OK. Reset uh, for FX ID. I will say BTN reset. This is going to have a handler. So handle BTN reset. Save it. Let's go back to sample FXML. Okay, uh, create the field. Add the uh, methods. So let me change to uh, private. Then I will add um, FXML annotation. So here. CB drink. Uh, we have a set value. So when you press the reset button, we will set to 
the items belongs to zero index. Basically, the go back to zero's place. Number one, OK, when you reset. So we go back to zero, OK? Not the first one, before the first one. So instead of doing that, we will do um, we do one more TA summary, set text. We can set the null value. So reset, okay, reset combo box and text area. Let's say uh, one more here. The first item, maybe we can just add a blank page. Um, let me remove the quotations, okay. It make more practical, okay. We have a one uh, blank space before item number one. So when we reset, we go back to index zero. Also, it number actually match, okay. Item number four, index four. That's all. Thank you.